Hi everyone and welcome back to Dimitra's Dishes. So a few days ago I made the red lentil soup and with that I served the green chili sauce mixed with um, yogurt and everybody wanted to know what it was and how to make it. And it is so simple, it's literally like three ingredients plus water if you want to count water as an ingredient. It's serrano chilies, some whole fresh garlic, some salt and water, that's it. It all comes together in the blender. Now, I want to warn you, this is super duper spicy. Now, um, it's very, very spicy and I don't know how spicy you like food, but if you're like me, if I eat something that's a little too spicy for my liking, I immediately get the hiccups and then I can't enjoy my food. So start slow with this, start easy. It's really good to add in yogurt because yogurt cools everything down and it adds some really nice freshness as well as some spice. So it, um, experiment with that along with the soup that we made, that's gonna be delicious. And if you, if you want to, if you like spicy food, just cook it, uh, throw, throw some in, in your casserole, just a little bit. Start with like a quarter to half a teaspoon and then see how much spice you can take. It's also good as a marinade if you want, you know, add it to a marinade. You could do millions of things with it. Let's get started and I'll show you how I make it. First, you have to take off these stems. Now when handling chilies, you don't want to do it with bare hands. I'm going to put on some gloves because the spiciness from the chilies transfers onto your fingers and then if you have to rub your eyes or, or touch a baby or something, it's not going to be good. You're going to be burning. So I'm going to put on these gloves. They're the only ones I have. And I'm just going to take off the stems. And those are garbage. They're going to go in my compost. All right, so I took all of my tops off, put these in my compost bin, and I'm just going to pop everything. This is about a little more than a handful. So a little more, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to pop this all in my blender. I'm going to take off these cute purple gloves now. And then I'm going to put my three cloves of garlic in here, a teaspoon of salt. You could put less. And then we'll start with a little bit of water. What we're adding the water for is so that it purees easier and it becomes really, really smooth. You don't want chunks of pepper or chunks of garlic in this. You want this to be completely, completely smooth. So just keep it adding water as you go and start with a little bit at a time. It's kind of like to help your blender along. So once it's all chopped up and pulsed a few times like this, you just want to add a little bit more water so it stays smooth while it's mixing, blending, and let it blend for non-stop for about 60 seconds, about a minute or two until it's really, really nice and smooth. Okay, this is completely ready. You see when it's like this, and this can hit you in the face too and it'll make you cough and it'll burn your throat and everything, so be quick with this. So now I'm just going to put this in my jar. This keeps, this keeps really well in a mason jar, in your fridge. Use it for your favorite dishes, but start slow. It's super duper spicy. I'm not gonna taste this, you guys, not this time. I'm gonna cover up and put it in my fridge and it stays fresh for about two weeks. I'll put the recipe on my website, www.demetriusdishes.com. I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.